Welcome back to BBC. The Barshans Value Quality Shopping Network. The only shopping network where we spell quality with a C. We have a whole flurry of items. Our lines have been red hot with offers and demands, but these products are too hot to handle. Fresh off the shark <laughs> bus. Um, Fresh off the shark bus. <laughs> no, no, no. Remember shark to bus. rinse them before we sell them. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, have a, we have a selection. I need to be very careful with this. This is the first one made in production, okay? That's beautiful. Um, Why choose between Judy and Kate when you can have both on a mug? It's got a slightly baby pink finish on the handle and the inside rim as well, matching baby pink. That's nice. The back, you'll notice, is pure white in case you wish to add your own thoughts to it using a pen or maybe a chisel. Yeah. Notice the handle for easy holding of beverages. And you can hold any form of liquid in it. You can hold in coffee, you can soup. hold in tea, you can mm. hold in soup, yeah. and hold even in cold blood. Drinks. Anything you want, it will hold it. Yeah. So we've only got one available at the moment and... Uh, did you get that too? Yeah, sold out. Right. We've heard some of you are quite shamefully naked and you can cover that with our new Stod t-shirt. One size fits all. One size fits all. Mm. So from the popular game Cannon Fodder that we uh, expressed in our uh, top five Amiga games, uh, you can see that there's quite a lot of stretch and give in this t-shirt. It would definitely accompany the full circumference of Stuart's abdomen. Graphic designers have spent seconds on this yeah. for uh, Stod, the member of the uh, Cannon Fodder crew. But we try to emphasise where he is out of the three in the pecking order. Because you wouldn't want a t-shirt where you didn't know which one was stored. Not even if they look the same. I'd just vomit at the thought of it, it'd be terrible. How right. much would you pay for this t-shirt, Barry? I would pay five billion Ugandan dollars immediately. Now it's sold out. Right. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, who is this? <gasps> I think it might be me, Barry. And you're playing tennis there, Stuart? I am, yes. I come with my uh, usual accoutrement, my main accessory of the tennis racket, which I am, of course, well known for. So you could play tennis and also it could double up as a squatting fly device and that also is a true. weapon. Yeah, absolutely. And how many of these have we got available? We have exactly none. Oh my God, it's Mr. Barry Lewis in Lego form with your trademark 80s guitar. The cheeky look on the face there, that's nice. Oh, yeah, I'm loving A couple of stains green. on the t-shirt, uh, sold out. Right, it's friend of the show, oh, Eli is... Silverman in Lego with of course the staff of Horus, which he is well known for carrying with him. Yeah, Maybe your grandmother nice. needs a bit of a gift for Christmas. Get in early with an Eli Silverman Lego figure. What more would any grandmother A lot want? of grandmothers are asking for this as a double package with some panache scented talcum powder. Oh, nice. Very nice. They Very do nice go well together, yeah. to be fair. You can sort of talk up your little Eli and then play with him to your heart's content. Oh, sold out. And finally, we have the fantastically glorious and highly requested Shah Talander. That's astonishing, Barry. It's one of its kind. Gloss made from China. I would pay everything to own this, everything. And so should you viewers. The cover, the Barshans logo, the old Barshans logo, you must add. Reminding us all of our favorite sharticles. The month of February, the month of love, <gasps> Valentine's Day, is brought to you by Wayne Kerr. Good old Wayne Kerr of the UK Independence Party. And what a man Wayne is. You'll but. notice he looks a little bit like a haunted ventriloquist dummy. It's also Pancake Day uh, that month, and it's good to have a, a tosser on that. Sleptember. <gasps> the month of Sleptember, where we all pay fealty to the dark idol Slep. So not many do thousands of us, millions of us go back to school, we also give Slep the Idol our bones. Yes, absolutely. And here you can see Slep the Idol um, with some bone offerings in front of him, which is a beautiful reminder. Um, Although it's not noted on the calendar, Bone Removal Day. It's not, is it? Well, to be fair, that is pretty much any time, isn't it? As long yeah. as you've got Slep your bones by the 30th, he will not eat your house. September. Is that? <laughs> it's before I'm October. Going, I'm going backwards. <laughs> November. November. Oh. Not really essentially a shart, but shart worthy. What's the last one, Barry? What's the Christmas picture? <gasps> Nothing yeah. more festive. Forced to land early because of smelly poo. Now, Truly one of the greatest sharticles. Yeah, and one, probably a shart on a plane as well. Oh, yeah, we Samuel L. Jackson in the movie version coming soon. One of the most festive ones, almost like a shart covered in tinsel for you, for your De December month. Mm. How much would you pay for this calendar, Barry? I would pay three horses and two wives. Plus 500 euros. That's pretty good. Well, how about yourself? Uh, oh no, it's sold out. 